guys welcome back to um, um, discussion um, we will put aside the um, the the um, mania and depressive mood and then sort of wrap it up because we deliberately discuss this topic because of the COVID-19 and I'm well pleased that at least we've covered more categories, characteristics, treatment and other areas that um, we didn't know we we're all learning and I hope it's going to help um, viewers out there to catch up with all these assertions and his beliefs and all that so that once you see any signs and symptoms of what is happening around you, you can obviously help the person because in our world where we come from Africa, everything sometimes, most of it is attributed to spiritual and witchcraft and superstition. So sometimes when we research and we learn a lot more, we are able to understand that not all diseases or not all conditions or not all situations emanate from spiritual attacks or from witchcraft attacks. So some of these things are maybe B12 deficiencies that causes mania and depression. Some of these things that kleptomania like that, someone will say that you have been cursed or you have been um, um, there's a malediction put on you so you can't function, function properly um, you are there stealing bits and pieces like pencils, pens and, and paper clips and all that but actually it's termed as obsessive compulsive disorder some of these disorders are, are brain function related you know when your dopamine is playing up and when your serotonin is playing up it can put you in that situation and when you are diagnosed with obsessive compulsive disorder you'll be able to treat it and deal with it so not all conditions i'm talking to my brothers and sisters in africa are spiritually related and um, some of these things when it comes you need to get help especially with the mania or the schizoaffective disorder or the bipolar disorders when the um, challenges starts coming in when they start exhibiting serious symptoms like um, grandeurs of ideations, uh, um, racing thoughts, self neglect, and all these insomnia or more sleeping habits, and having elevated um, energies and doing things that are risky, that can even claim their lives, please um, get them admitted so that they can get some help. Not all situations are related to spiritual attacks. So stop, in the name of Jesus, I uproot and I break it down and I heal you in Jesus' name and all that. I know as a savior, Christians believe in Jesus Christ, but the same God gave us the wisdom give you know citizens of the earth the knowledge and the wisdom to be creative and to go through research clinical trials and then develop medication from the plants that god has given us to make sure that we manage and treat some of these diseases so get them admitted when you see anything that is against the individual's character is out of the ordinary get them admitted and let them have some medication that will help them and i've got some books here explosive secrets from marie you can grab the copy um, from amazon and I've got one here from Mary AC, um, the student entrepreneur. You can grab a copy that will help you to develop your business um, plans. And this one is going to give the women and ladies out there the wisdom and experience to 
properly um, develop your home and take care of yourself and your kids and be the confident woman as you were created to be. And the case, um, this is a phone case. You can get all the cases in the different um, types of phone that you have, iPhone, Samsung and all that. Um, see Marie, they can give you a nice design with their own picture on, on the back of it. So, um, when it comes to the COVID-19, um, there was a whole lot of um, pandemonium in terms of the pandemic that originated from Wuhan and conspiracy theories was bringing out so many things in terms of where it's originated from America, shipped down to China, from China, shipped down to where it's, it's all over the place. We don't even know what to think. But all what we care about is for the governments of the world to come together, get us the medication that we need, get us the vaccine that we need, so that our world will come to some state of normalcy. Because at the moment, as the ports are open, as the airports are open, uh, we have to stick to the containment strategies that the government has given us so that we are able to move around without contracting the disease because most of the families are going through horrible situations. Some of the families are in bereavement. Some of the families are going through stress and anxiety and that is the more so reason why I decided to do the stress and anxiety um, topics that we treated and now I'm going to be switching on to the manual that is going to help us um, nature and bring out the confidence and potential in our kids so that the next generation is going to be vibrant, is going to be eloquent, is going to be credible, is going to be leaders of our world, is going to be very um, important so that we have confident generation that will take our world to the next level. So um, the COVID-19 has really brought us this far and we have discussed about anxiety disorders, we discussed general, general anxiety disorders, we discussed social anxiety disorders, we discussed um, childhood anxiety disorders, we discussed obsessive compulsive disorders and then we came down all the way to discuss about mania and how it develops into uh, bipolar and how it develops into schizoaffective disorders and how everything went all the way to this manic state and a distinction between um, the manic phase and the depressive mode because the doctors believe that there's an uh, external extensional acts between the two that when it is mixed or when there's a cycle of these symptoms it becomes very deadly and very lethal so we learned all about these disorders separation anxiety disorders you know post-traumatic disorder stress disorder that's the only thing that i think we didn't talk about but it's all about um our uh, military personnel and individuals that go through some kind of horrible experience with graphic pictures that keep on flashing back in their brains and that keeps on giving them nightmares that if it's persistent and it's intrusive and it's excessive and it's overly uncontrollable and unavoidable then it becomes a clinical um, clinical issue and that becomes a disorder so that is what we treated so far due to the COVID-19 we have to talk about all the anxiety disorders because the COVID brought us anxiety and stress that people were dealing with in their families some had the disease tearing up their families tearing it apart some have deaths in their family and some had it and were able to come out of it because of um, hydroxychloroquine that 
people are saying is the most effective drug at the moment, but we don't even know what works and what doesn't work. So it's a bit of um, a difficult.